What's up, guys? <laughs> Welcome back to the Penny Foggers podcast. This week we played Breaking, which was suggested to us by our very own Lollington X. Uh, you also have myself, Bells of Steel, and Cheers for Pierce. Uh, <laughs> so this week we're going to be playing the game. We've done it on stream on Wednesday past. Sorry, Baz, I took a really big sip, mate. Can you just carry on? Just carry on. <laughs> what? A... No, I get fucked. <laughs> no, I'm not That's doing that. half a second. I've got no <laughs> drink left. I don't care. I hope you piss yourself. I need a wee. I also I feel a little care. bit sick. We're not done. <laughs> We're not I can't believe you. I can't believe you so many times. Guys, what you're seeing here is what normally I experience, which is frustration. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, this week we were playing Break-In, suggested to us by Lulz. Uh, and uh, yeah, can I get uh, Lol? Can you explain the game a bit for us and uh, those at home? Yes, yeah, so the break-in is a, um, a four-player cooperative game where you simulate as a thief. Um, you have uh, designated um, scenarios um, that you have to go into. So uh, high security houses, low security houses, lots of people. Not a lot of people steal this item or break stuff. Um, basically, living our criminal best life. Quite the description there, criminal best life. Uh, Pierce, could you give us uh, your perspective on what you thought the game was about? Uh, yeah, I mean, pretty much what Lowe said. Um, the way I would describe it to someone if they said to me, hey, what was that game you were playing? Um, is It's a little bit like Phasmophobia, um, but like a thief simulator, which I know Lowe's did just say, but it was a good explanation. Um, so, was yeah, that you a compliment? Sort of, no. Oh my God. Um, so Talking. you um, you you choose equipment to go in with. Um, so you start off with like a flashlight and some getaway bicycles. Uh, and as you progress through it, you get more money and you can get more equipment, uh, like hammers to break things or uh, like a price tag machine scanner to see how much everything is going to get you when you uh, exit with the items. Uh, and you can spend money on new getaway vehicles that can hold bigger items or more items because it's difficult to steal a hot tub with three bicycles. We did but it. Not impossible. Not, not impossible. impossible. We did it. <laughs> not impossible. So I think that cut brings us uh, back around to the actual gameplay itself. And I will just say it was so much fun. I had such a good time, especially finding out what is and is not worthwhile in stealing, which until we got Pierce's uh, scanner gun, we would just take whatever and find out after was it worth taking to begin with. And uh, yeah, sometimes it wasn't really, sometimes it wasn't worth a thing. Um, but Yeah, I, I seem to remember Lowe's picking up just everything that was worth about 50 cents <laughs> and cramming right. it into the, and just taking up all the space. I kept stealing like we uh, pop champ things, being like, oh, they're collectibles. They'll make money. <laughs> oh. um, but I've got to say, it was such a fun game. Like, for gen like just the concept of it, solid. The actual game when we were running around it, I, I really couldn't say enough how much I was laughing that I was to tears at points because it was just so much fun. Obviously, playing with a U pair makes a difference. You know what I mean? Wouldn't be the same game if you were playing it on your own, as most of the games we play, they are meant to be played with people or, you know, interacting with people. It's just so much fun. Ah, oh, so good. Um, But as you progress, you can steal more. I also think, I do believe, but I can't confirm, uh, Pearson, look, I think the missions change depending on the equipment that you have. Because I don't believe we got break what was called a breaking quest where you had to destroy <clears throat> uh, stuff in a home without letting the owner know. Really, we were just vandalizing an entire house. I think we were there to send a message. Um, but I think that didn't arrive until you actually buy the equipment that you would um, need for that mission. Or it didn't start no, appearing on our board. No, it, it was on the board. I just never selected it. Ah, uh, right. Okay, okay. Yeah, but right, I, I think you can get a hammer pretty early. So. Oh, yeah. I didn't even look at, look at the menu at all because you guys were both hosts at some point or another. Mm. I didn't actually see what the, the how many different missions there were. Three. There's three different mission three. types. Yeah. Um, it, sometimes it's item. like the same type, so it could all be steal a small item or 
there could be two steal this m- amount of money in items and then one smash things up um yep. but yeah you get small uh steal a, a specific small item a specific yep. large item yep. uh, amount in total stolen is in monetary um yep. and smashing and that was the other one wasn't it i think yep. that, that was the only four different ones that you could get i think the the most beneficial thing as well is early game Get yourself as much money as possible to upgrade your vehicle. Um, oh, it's, yeah. yeah. Uh, not it's, only it's is only it... the host that needs to buy the vehicle as well. I so... didn't like that about it. I felt ah, like we should have been able to... Money. Yeah, I feel like I could have given yeah. you guys my uh, my money because I never actually spent any of it other yeah, than what, on a hammer and a ladder. What I'm saying oh, with that is, is it's quite good as well because I could buy the first one and then Bells could have bought the second vehicle, and then you could have kept saving and bought the third one, and then it could come back to me for the fourth one, and you could have done it that way and sort of step laddered up and just no, changed hosts and kept. I your believe money. we have to. Re- you have to buy your own equipment now. Here that Lull has just been caught in a lie by saying she never spent her money, but Lull, in fact, did. She bought herself a, a cosmetic item that she <laughs> wanted to show off to everyone. Lull, would you like to describe the item that you did spend your money on? Uh, and the joke, the first joke you said to people about it. Bought myself a um, piece of toast helmet and I'm... demonstrated that I was inbred. <laughs> and you are from Birmingham, so there is quite a high <gasps> chance that that is true. <laughs> that is no correct? offense to any Birmingham listeners out there. We stand oh, together. It's, it's offen- <laughs> yeah, of course you do. It's family. <laughs> um, anyway, any oh, negatives of oh the game, God. Bells? I look. Uh, I would maybe just say the longer you go into it, maybe a bit more repetitive. Um, maybe when you're getting stuff, uh, it doesn't change too much. But honestly, it's not really a big negative. It's a quick, fun game that I I truly did enjoy. Um, I, well, I think what really changed our gameplay was when Pierce found out a, the value of certain items and uh, yeah, one item, item, in particular. item, item, <clears throat> items, yeah, uh, because item he, in particular, really. he he changed his strategy very quickly. We we switched very quickly from thief <laughs> to. Kidnapper. Yeah. <laughs> I, I realize like most items if you got over a thousand dollars you're like this is good uh, and i scanned a person and he was worth over 20 grand um so we realized you could just hit him with the hammer and then steal him um so we yeah we spent a good what 20 minutes half hour just trying to steal people we got two um, in one yeah. at one point we, but the well, difficulty yeah. is keeping them there you just have to keep yeah. hitting them Keep yeah, bashing him on the end with a hammer. Yeah. It's the fact, I think at one stage, Pierce was, we had got ourselves a pickup truck, which was uh, two levels higher, and Pierce was just standing over the back, being like, press the button! As he's throwing a hammer down at them, being like, press the button! I'm holding him back! Uh, the, the people did as well, when you get them into the back of the truck or anything, I suppose uh, this is a negative. They do glitch out a little bit and yeah. go a little bit crazy all over the ga- uh, over the page, but yeah, being a, a small bug, game, yeah. and it, was it early access? No, uh, no, I don't think it was. Believe so. Mm. Don't believe so. But being a small game and it's a pretty basic game, like I think we can forgive that one issue. It is early access, yeah. It's a, it's a class we give. It's a great concept for doing it. Um, I there was some there was <laughs> some of the fun bits was trying to figure out how to get out stuff, especially when it was big items specifically. Pierce and I. For ages, we're trying to get a uh, bathtub out of a window, <laughs> and like then we, I think we just realised there's just no way of getting it out. We couldn't get it out. We couldn't get it out the door no either. So how I don't know if how was a... it ever going to happen? I don't know, but that was the no item way. that we had to steal. Yeah, but I we just physically couldn't make it happen. I think maybe that's an auto generation, like a random. It's a random selection, and maybe it picks a random item, puts it in. But maybe the items should be specific to the houses that they're going into. You know what I mean? Maybe that's just something that needs a bit more work done to it. I just uh, think maybe we were doing something wrong. Maybe. 
maybe that could be it, 100%. Uh, the one thing I will say is there is no more joy than trying to work as a team with Lull to try and steal a hot tub. And Pierce is like, what are you doing? It's not even worth anything. And then he scans it and like, that's three and a half grand. Get, Get it on. on. <laughs> Get it on. Get it on here. <laughs> Uh, oh god! Also, I mean, the it... most basic of items don't be fooled. How much was that vintage bottle of whatever it was was yeah. worth quite a lot? And the files, the files were always worth a bit. <laughs> yeah, state there was secrets. a lot of them. State secrets. A lot mm. of people that we were doing. What was the other one? The videotape. Uh... Incriminating. Incriminating videotape. Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like we were stealing from. We were like Robin Hood. We were stealing from the blackmailers. So many people out there with plenty of ammunition for blackmail. You we're just helping really, the state. You can't really call us Robin Hood when we literally started kidnapping people for the money. We turned very quickly when the money was involved. Yeah, it's good money. Oh, God. So funny. We had good intentions. Um, <laughs> did we? Definitely didn't. Um... <laughs> Oh, God. There was there's a couple of things that I think probably could be improved upon. Um, one was when we're talking about trying to get that bathtub out of the window or the door. I feel like there should have been uh, a mechanic for like tilting the object that you have. Mm-hmm. And then maybe we may just haven't have discovered it, but I feel like that could. could we were be having quite trouble useful. with that with the safes at the start, weren't we? When trying to get the safe yeah. out the window. Yeah. Yeah, there's a few things that we had trouble like moving around. I think if you could sort of rotate it in your hand, that would be good. One one thing that uh, we haven't actually touched on is it's VR supported as well. So it might actually be something that's in VR where you can yes. move this item how you want, but it's just not come across to. Um, I will say key yet. it does change. It does change when you have something and say like i find it actually easier trying to get items out on my own without the help um hmm. could you have know, just said if you didn't want us to help yeah oh, the yeah, game no, was so like, much easier when lols wasn't like interfering <laughs> so, because the reason is once you got it in like if you were trying to get out the window you try putting a safe through the window it gets stuck the game then you reset your grip and the character moves how they hold it and obviously go tilting up and down your character tilts the uh, items, so he does. So it's, mm-hmm. it does become a bit easier to like push through. Also, I didn't start a cheating where I just uh, would grab another item and like force it through to push through the, you know, items if they got stuck. Fair enough. Yeah. You know, um, and the other thing that um, I'd say is not really a negative, but a, a little bit is all the houses sort of seem the same. Mm. It would have been quite nice yeah. to steal from a shop or like a factory or something. I think I saw what? that there's the potential to do bank robberies and stuff coming up. There was a section in the menu bit, you know, the little depot where you are at the start. I'm sure it said something there about yeah. um, potential DLCs or add-ons uh, for different locations. So I've just different. seen on my screen as well that they've got, uh, it's called a boats and clothes update. Um, which went live on the 25th of September, where you can actually steal from container ships. We mustn't have got far enough for that yet. Yeah, maybe we just didn't. Maybe you need to unlock a certain vehicle yeah. or something first. Could but... be certain vehicle, could be certain equipment you need. That's that's what I'm saying. I didn't notice the break and stuff, but you did. You know, it could be as you get further along. You know, But yeah. it was really good. It was really good. I did really enjoy it, yeah. Um, yeah. So I think it was, was it the first game that we really enjoyed. <laughs> Party animals. No, party animals. Hey, other than party animals, yeah, that is uh, true. Since then, we'll yeah. We've no, there've been other ones that we've enjoyed pretty well. Mm, collectively, probably not. not collectively, <laughs> collectively not. I did by that. I was one that we all really, really loved. <clears throat> Another big drink from Pierce right there. Yeah, man's dehydrated. People, that's what you're saying. Not anymore. Um. <laughs> okay. Great stuff. So, should we move on to ratings and whether we'd play it again? Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. I feel like I know the answer for would we play it again. I feel like the question to ask more is when are we going to play it again? Because um, I wanted to jump straight back in the next day. Yeah, me too. Um, but yeah, so we should definitely play that again soon. 
Um, I'm not even going to ask that question because I know it's going to be a yes from everyone. Yeah, 100%. Um, I but, definitely would. But let's jump into ratings. Uh, Lols, I'm going to start with you. Mm, I feel like... I think it's a really fun idea, really good concept. Um, if they start, they keep adding stuff to it, I'd probably rate it higher. But for now, I'm going to go with a seven um, just because it was very fun. But there's plenty of places where they could improve it going forward and make it a little bit more smoother. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Pels? Uh, I'd give it an eight. I think it's a solid, a solid early access game. I think it has a lot there. And I can't wait to see where it goes in the future with the, the development. As you say, Pierce, it's already had an update. I can't wait to see what they do with it more. There's, it's just a very good concept of a game. Cool. Uh, yeah, I'm very similar. I'd actually give it an 8 as well. Um, I think by looking at this, I think there's maybe 4 or 5 updates since it first came out. Uh, well, update 1, patch 5, it's on at the minute. So it's had a few patches and looks like one update. So I think if they keep adding to it, then it's got so much potential. Um, but I think it's one of those games that can get a little bit repetitive. So unless they do keep adding to it and keeping it fresh, yeah. it's just going to sort of sit in the library and not get played as much. Um, but yeah, for an early access game, it's really, really good. Um, the only thing I would say is the graphics maybe aren't great. But yeah, it is what it is. It's a bit of phasmophobia. Um, so yeah, an, an 8 from me as well, which I think is pretty solid. Pretty impressive rating to come from Pierce. So well done. Yeah, yeah. 100%. I, think, I think I gave uh, Party Animals an 8 as well, didn't I? Mm -hmm. If I remember correctly. But I don't think I've given anything else. Anything. I don't think you've given high. anything so high and such a solid review. <laughs> it was a really good game. Like, mm -hmm. There's really yeah, not no many... Ones. I know we sort of touched on the things that we think can be improved and whatever, but... Yeah. In terms of negatives, there wasn't anything that we ran into that we were like, "Oh, that's I, I don't like that. That's yeah. a shame." Like it was all really good and really positive. It would just be cool to sort of see that progress and see what it can turn into. Definitely very polished. Definitely, very, definitely very polished in my opinion. Uh, you know, we could we could just stay here and say how like you know the game design, the cosmetics that you have available. There's clear progression, easy progression. The money that you get is split between everyone evenly, depending on the number of people that you have. Uh, it's not overly difficult, but it depends on the mission you pick. It can become difficult. I believe mm -hmm. Pierce picked a ten at level ten security, and there were six people in the house, and he tried to take them, <laughs> kidnap them all, uh, but that didn't work for us. Well, you, you, been... you two weren't pulling your weight. I was doing fine, um, but yeah, you two just kept getting caught all the time excuse me it was a bit more like payday three where you just run in and get yourself caught over and over again uh I don't and then know try and blame bells Lowe's, but i, bells got I remember you blaming bells when it was Why quite obviously bells you. unless yeah. it was bells <laughs> i wouldn't get why caught. would you yeah i don't know i, I absolutely know. did not try to steal a chair a man was sat on <laughs> as you would in that situation like. um, um, but yeah a very very fun game and looking forward to playing it again uh, speaking of games we've been playing what other games have you two been playing this week Lowell's I'm going to start with you again mm -hmm. I haven't been playing anything much other than Geogasser to be honest Played anything else? Uh, oh, I played um, that game that you sent me a recommendation for on Sunday. Uh, it was the Wizardry Escape or something like that. Um, completed it in about four and a half, five hours. Um, but awesome. it was definitely, definitely Harry Potter inspired. Um, <laughs> but actually, it was pretty good. Um, the 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 puzzles weren't too hard. Um, but also they they were challenging enough to keep it interesting. But yeah, finished it in in one one day, so that was a good game. Would recommend. Nice. Okay. Dozy Wozy, what, what else have you been playing? Oh, I'm just flat out on uh, World of Warcraft, fully addicted. Uh, trying both retail and I'm trying classic. I'm really there for playing the classic version of it because that's what I started with. Um, but uh, yeah, no, I uh. 
I'm loving it. I have a load of a few mates. I think we're up to four people now are joined on playing it. Uh, Pretty I, sure you were up to four people last week as well, <laughs> but okay. No, 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 no. Three people last week. We're up to four now. So there's still one space available. Uh, wow. Can you only be room. like little teams of six, can you? Uh, no, you can be up to teams of 25. Oh, but there's only room for one more person, is there? Yeah, because in so basically there's different levels of the uh, PVE content. So you have dungeons, which are up to five people at a time. Then you go to 10-man raids. Then you go to 25-man raids. I'm not sure if Wrath of the Lich King, I think they've done away with 40-man raids, but that can still be a possibility. Uh, there's also PvP. You can do that with friends. You can have up to... Uh, you can have up to 10 people, 10 of your friends all jumping for battlegrounds, so you can. The so Bells is very passionate about World of wow. Warcraft. So and interesting. I know a lot of the story behind it. So <laughs> if you want to know story about World of Warcraft, come talk to me. Oh, I absolutely will do that. Um, so I've been playing the new Call of Duty that came out um, at the end of this week. Uh, I mean, what day is it today? It's Saturday today that we're recording this, by the way. I like to break the illusion that you think. You know, you just guess what days we're doing it on. It's a Saturday, and it is currently 7.46 p.m. So when you go, wow, what time did they record that? It was, it was about half seven. Um, so, yeah, that came out yesterday. I've been playing that for the last couple of days. I've played a bit. came out yesterday, yeah. but you've been playing for the last couple of days. Yeah, last couple of days, yeah. Yeah, so I played it yesterday and today, which is the last couple of days. Yeah. Okay. Sure, yeah. Sure. No, that's <laughs> correct, no? Yeah, okay. Um, and yeah, other than that, I've been playing a little bit of the AFC, but that's that's all really. I still haven't touched Football Manager. I was very excited for it to come out. I haven't even opened it. Oh. Um, but yeah, that's what it is. Speaking of games that are excited that are coming out, big mm -hmm. big excited that are coming out. Did that? You're looking forward whatever. to. Okay, words in my mouth, lols. But <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Game so, dissipating? what a smooth uh, transition into the next segment. Lowell's, what games are coming out? Um, I think you... Uh, we had a look earlier, and the only thing right I Right before we started stream, because that's what we do. We're, We're so, we're so professionals, organized. We plan, we like but we like to know... Fresh, we like know. to know the, the most recent updates. We don't want to miss anything. We don't want to check it too early and then realise that we completely forgot something. Yeah, like that game that we were it was most supposed to be coming back coming out and it's been pushed back to December now. Mm. Like I can't remember what game it is, the day before or something like that. Um but yeah. Um so I saw earlier on Steam that Outer Stellar is meant to be coming out in the next week, which is a outer space PvP but also um, kind of crafting, you have to gather materials to craft guns and, and weapons and stuff like that. So that looks relatively interesting. It's going to be early access, I think, so could be something to look out for. Um, and then you had a game, did you not? Yes? Uh, I saw there was a, a Walking Dead game that is meant to be releasing this week, which uh, it looks very interesting. It's one of those ones where you make all the decisions and people die and whatever. But it's obviously based on the TV series The Walking Dead. So you play as Rick, and I think you have to assemble like your little squad of people, very much like the TV show, and then have to try and stay alive with the rations that you've got and try and look for food and ammo and weapons. Um, and then based on the decisions that you make, people will die, people will turn into zombies, blah, blah, blah. Um, and yeah, it looks quite interesting. It looks like a game that could have a lot of replayability because... The first time you play through, maybe everyone will die in your squad and you think, hmm, I reckon I can do better than that. Or oh, I want to try and keep these specific people alive instead. Um, so, yeah, I think that was uh, meant to be coming out. Let me just check. Uh, November the 17th, which I think is I remember next Friday. Yes, next Friday. I remember um, when I played uh, Detroit Become Human, there's so many different, like, storylines that you can do to get achievements and stuff so for like trophy hunters or achievement hunters those kind of games are just going to be so replayable because you can do mm. all the different storylines yeah yeah i feel like it'd be a similar style game to that um so there's a few other games element to it? Mm, you know maybe you know um, if you run through you get all decisions to try and go free but maybe that just wouldn't work out in a, a game like that 
uh, you know, you know where it is a story driven game. You know, it's not so much speed runners paradise as such. Yeah. Uh, so there's a couple other things. There's a new DLC coming out for Dredge, which is a game that I've been following a little bit because it looks quite interesting. So I might have a look at the DLC and see if that piques my interest enough to buy it. Um, Super Mario RPG is coming out on the Switch on November the 17th as well, which I don't actually remember this game. I don't know if you two remember Super Mario RPG, but it was mm-hmm. the first RPG game on the Nintendo 64. Oh, no. nostalgia. Yeah, so it's a, a very much a nostalgic game that uh, has had like a, a graphic update and whatever else, but they've uh, they've brought that back, which looks quite interesting. I um. Yeah, as I said, I haven't seen it before, but that looks quite cool. Also, Hogwarts Legacy is dropping on the Switch on November the 14th. So, interested to see how that runs, because it didn't even run very well on PCs. Oh. Um, so, I imagine the graphics are going to be terrible. But mind you, it'll, by that point, it's nearly... It's got to be nearly a year, hasn't it? No, yeah, probably, a... probably nine, ten months since it was released. So, hopefully, yeah, they they've able... patched it. Yeah, but they would have had to drop all of the graphics considerably for it to run on a Switch. Um, And yeah, speaking of game releases and updates and things, there was a massive announcement from Rockstar Mm. that there's going to be a gameplay trailer released in early December for GTA 6, which I think everyone has been waiting for for forever. Um, and you said it was 10 years since the first, well, GTA yeah. 5 came out last. Yeah. 2013 was uh, GTA 5. Oh, we babies we were. That's wild to think, Wish. isn't it? <laughs> wild to think 10 years that game's been going. And it's yeah. still so popular just because of yeah. the, I think because of the whole uh, role playing, um, especially across, across like streaming and stuff like that, it's just kept it alive, hasn't it? Even role I think even without morning. a role playing one, like even just GTA Online, we still go back to because they keep it updated, they keep it fresh, and people can add their own, uh, like is it like the race events and things like that, and there's different sort of events that you can play, and because the community is sort of keeping yeah. it updated, it, it's kept the game alive for so long. Um, so Plus yeah, they, I'll be... have, they have been supporting it. They have constantly yeah. been providing patches themselves as well as. DLC events, different like they like it's not the same as it was at the start. But then they say that about most GTA games, it, it always develops as they go through their development process. Obviously, because it is so popular. Mm. Yeah, it's a really good example of a game that the development team have kept mm-hmm. up to date with and kept bringing out like consistent content for. Um, so yeah, it'd be interesting to see that trailer uh, and see what's going to happen with the new one. I imagine it will be uh, pretty pretty amazing. I also imagine we'll have to wait quite a long time for it. Um, but yeah, so we'll see what happens with that. Um, is that, what, what else is, that what we... is Red Dead from the same makers of yeah. GTA? Yes, it is. Yep. Yeah, they just didn't keep that updated as much because no one really it played it's the still, online It's mode. still quite popular, though. The online, I, I think it's yeah. still quite popular, so it'll be interesting to see if they do another. Mind you, they, they've haven't they suggested that all resources on pretty much GTA 6 at the moment? Yeah. Um, I imagine so, Well, they've, yeah. they've said GTA 6 is going to be a billion dollar development game, is it not? Like, it's going to be a lot of money is pumped into that game to develop it the most because GTA 5 this is worth a Google, but I'm pretty sure GTA 5 made over a billion, probably more than a billion. I mean, uh, I bought it about five times on all the different consoles and PC and everything. That I and it's had, it's know. still full price, isn't it? In most yeah. in, on most mm. consoles. I don't know, it's but still um, popular. It's, yeah, it's so good. Popularity when it's the difference of a game. A game depreciates in value when content isn't being provided in 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 like regular installments. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, in continuation, if a game like a story based game. You have one playthrough of it. That's it. It's not going to change if you play again. Whereas GTA, you can play it. You get different outcomes. You can do scenarios different ways. And then you have the multiplayer aspect where, as you both said, RP online is just so popular with GTA. And like the the modder community where you can mod, like Rockstar provide the tools to allow modders to mod skins, mod cars, mod vehicles, put wraps around them. 
people will literally have full outfits made for them by graphics designers to put onto it. It's it's I think it's just a good show of what a game could be with the developer support and the support of its community in tandem. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so hopefully that carries on into the next one. We uh, we're going to look forward to playing that. Uh, hopefully we can do a podcast on that in 2030 when that comes out when Lowell's oh is 45. Gosh. Um so yeah, that would uh, that would be interesting. Um okay. Speaking of games that we're going to play, do we know what we're playing next week yet? Or Not have we got clue. any ideas? We could do with some community recommendations, I think. Um, especially ones this close, this close to Christmas that are on the cheaper side or free to play would be great. Or yeah. Christmas themed. Or like any games no. with big updates. No, we're out. not even getting into this argument. I am not doing Christmas yet. Oh, yeah. Like after November the 25th. We've got a couple of weeks, and then we can start jumping on the uh, the Christmas games. But I, I don't remember there have really been many Christmas updates for games. I think Fortnite sort of do it, but mm. I remember Warzone some... had a Krampus thing, didn't they? But oh, yeah, God. We'll, we'll get to that when we get there. You asked about other games played. I've been playing Fortnite OG, too. Oh, yeah, we <laughs> played Fortnite, it. didn't we? Yeah, we played, about, right? played Fortnite, Fortnite OG, loved it, thought it was brilliant. Really had a good time. It was okay. Okay, so we don't know what we're playing. Uh, <laughs> next week but we'll figure something out um so there's only one thing left uh Lowell's, are you doing the outro this week or are you going to pass on yeah. responsibility once i'll more? do the outro this week that's absolutely oh, fine God. oh wow she prepared herself are you, are you going to do anything special or is no. it just going to be a plain boring no, it's outro, going to be a always? plain boring outro where wow. i just say good night from the petty foggers don't worry Lowell, don't even bother everyone would have already turned off so, yeah, I mean, okay, bye. Do, do something wow. special, I guess, Lols. I got, sung last you, week. You I've sung keep, on occasions before. You have to keep viewer retention. You have to do something special. Got to keep them watching until the end. What's your pin number? <laughs> What's your national insurance pin? <laughs> that is not happening. Okay, guys. <laughs> We have been the Petty Foggers <laughs> with Cheers for Peers, Bells of Steel and Lollington X. We'll be back again next week with more games. See you later. Bye. Bye.